Hello. Do you know who I am? Today is Friday Food and Fitness, and I am a spaghetti squash. Hi guys, it's Gail. So, in keeping in line with my discussion with you about how to go food shopping and not be afraid of what you see in the produce section, we are going to talk about how to make spaghetti squash today. Some of you may have never even heard of spaghetti squash before, but it is such a cool alternative to actual spaghetti, which is one of my favorite things about it. So I'm gonna show you how to make it. And really the hardest part about making this is just cutting into it. So I'll show you my method. I think it's just the Gale method. I've never seen anybody else do it. You wanna do it, fine. You have another way of doing it, fine. But this is how I do it. So first of all, let me tell you. The first thing I did was I washed the outside of my spaghetti squash. And then yes, I did draw on top of it, but that's okay. The reason that I washed it is because even though we're not eating the rind, you're gonna cut into the rind and anything that is on it can get inside. So you should do that with all of your fruits and vegetables that have a rind, like melons um, and squash, things like that. So here we go. Put it down on your cutting board. The first thing I do is I take a really big sharp knife and, sorry, Mr. Spaghetti Squash, I just start right in the middle and I make like a little cut there and just start going back and forth like this. And then what I do, and I don't want to hear from any of you knife salespeople that I'm doing the wrong thing. I'm going to give you a lot of money by having to sharpen you because this is how I do my spaghetti squash. I bang it, and when I bang it, look what happens. I start to crack open the outside of the rind. Just be very careful when you do it, of course. Then I start from the middle again, dig in a little bit more, and bang down. So no time is my hand underneath the knife. I'm just holding it on top. maneuver it a little bit more and use a little strength. But anytime the knife does not come out, do not force it out. Do what I just showed you to do, like this. See, now it's a little loose, but you're gonna do just like that. And then, when you open it up, you have all the seeds inside that you will scrape out. Oh, my spaghetti squash is growing some crunky stuff in here. <laughs> what the heck that is? Your spaghetti squash should not look like that. Okay, so we're gonna scoop out. It looks like it's starting to grow new spaghetti squashes. I think I have a pregnant spaghetti squash, but it's perfectly fine. It's not moldy, there's nothing wrong with it. It's a fresh spaghetti squash. And all you're gonna do is you're gonna dig in and you're gonna take out all this center stuff, including the seeds, which if you wanted to, you could clean away from the rest of the stuff you're taking out and rinse them off and roast them, which would be yummy. And you're gonna take all this out. You're gonna dump it. And the next thing you'll do is you'll just either spray a little bit of olive oil on it, or I usually drizzle a little olive oil, turn it down on a cookie sheet like this, put it in your oven for 375 degrees for 40 minutes. And we'll be back. I'll show you what to do after that. It's gonna be super easy. But that's all you have to do for now. That's the whole cooking process. Very simple. Okay, we're done. They are out of the oven. I let them cool a little bit, and this is what it looks like when you take them out. So now, oops, I forgot one thing. We need a fork. Okay, I have to scrape out the squash with a fork because then it really gets spaghetti-like, spaghetti-ish. So this is what it looks like, and when you scrape it, it comes out really super easy. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? So I'm just gonna put it in the bowl, and then I'll show you how I dress it. It's uh, a very simple recipe. You can put in marinara sauce, or whatever, however you would normally make spaghetti. You really can do anything to this. Spice it up however you like it. I'll show you just with one. Okay, so you get all this stuff out. It's so nice and cooked and soft that it's just falling apart. Okay, you get all the spaghetti squash out, and then what I do is I put a little bit of olive oil in. This is just a simple recipe. That's it, it's probably not more than a tablespoon or so. And I crush, for one spaghetti squash, I'm gonna crush two nice sized cloves of garlic. And more. By the way, I'll give you a little plug here. I love my Pampered Chef stuff. I'm a big Pampered Chef fan. So I actually baked my spaghetti squash on this awesome stone, nothing sticks, and I'm using my garlic crusher from them too. Okay, then 
after I put that in, I just had chopped up some parsley in advance. It's about maybe a quarter to a third of a cup for a whole spaghetti squash. I put it in. A little bit of my favorite pink Himalayan sea salt. Just a few turns. If you're measuring out the salt, it's not more than a half a teaspoon. And then some freshly ground pepper. And that, my friends, is it. This is what it looks like. Of course, if I had the other half of the spaghetti squash in here, it would be a little bit more even, not so much parsley, but you get the picture. And that's it. It is delicious, it's healthy. Instead of having uh, a grain carb all the time, this is a great, great alternative. And really, everybody in your family should love it. So try it. Do not be afraid of the spaghetti squash.